qualifying lap record. The lap of the gods in 2003. The hairs on the back of your neck stand up when you just think about it. What has Greg Murphy got in 2011 in car 11? Off he goes. Very accurate through the first turn. He pulled it up late, got it to the apex, used all of the exit space. So nice opening account. So clean and tidy has been the way for the first five drivers out. Did you hear the engine just flaring onto the limiter in fifth gear over the top of the crest of the hill there on Mountain Straight? Greg's one of the few left foot breakers in the field. Beautiful entry into the cutting. You hear the front of the car just scuffing. Pulls third gear early not to end up sliding across the top of the bump. That marker there belongs to Will Davison, but 52.3 is good because it's lower than Craig Lowndes', which was the fastest to the first sector of 52.4 Lowndes did. So here comes Murph again. He is flying. Oh, he's got it onto the limiter on the run to the cutting. Oh, on the run to the skyline, I should say. And uh, he's one of the few guys that we've seen so far that's attacked the curve up at McPhillamy. Pepsi Max crew and Kelly Racing, top left, Will Davison. Currently provisional pole sitter, bottom left, watching the second sector time. It should be a good one. It is a good one. Another green box for the flying Kiwi. Now it's all about braking. How brave is he going to be at the bottom of the hill? It's now in top gear, sizing up the chase. Just on 300 kilometres an hour, uses the apron, commits it. Lights on late, waits for the car to settle and then gets maximum brake pressure on the car. Flies her up on two wheels in second gear. This might, this might stick, it might be enough. Well, this has been a point and shoot lap. We talk about bringing back the old times. Greg Murphy is doing it again here in the top 10 shootout at Bathurst. He goes to the top at 208.8. And they go nuts at Kelly Racing. Yeah, good job, mate. First so far.